Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to be filming the Seven Deadly Sins of Beauty Tag. I have been looking forward to this all week and I am super excited. So I am going to just jump right in. So the first deadly sin is greed and the question was what is, or there's two parts to it. So what is your most expensive beauty item? So the most expensive beauty item I have is my Sephora brand. I don't even know what you would call it. It's just this insanely huge thing that I got um, uh, the uh, Black Friday of this last year. And it has all these different compartments. And these are all eyeshadows. So there's this side. So yeah, so this side is all the colors. So this side has all colored eyeshadows. And then the other side has all neutrals. And then it's not done. So then it's fins. And on this side, these are all creamed eyeliners on this side. And then these ones are all cream lip glosses. And then it goes one more time. And then it has, so on this side, it's just in like instructions and how to's. And then this side has all blushes, bronzers. Um, just one of them's a bronzer, really, that I would ever use as a bronzer. And yeah, this bad boy was like $75 on Black Friday. It's so worth it. I absolutely love it. And the second part of the question was, what is your least expensive item? And the least expensive I have is actually brand new. I just got these a few days ago. And they're just some new um, eye makeup and a bronzing contouring brush from e.l.f. I think they were like a dollar, maybe $2 each. And so the next uh, deadly sin is wrath. And the question was, again, there was two parts to it. What product do you have a love-hate relationship with? So that's definitely going to be the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. So I love the way this looks once it's on and once it's dried. However, when I put it on, it's really, really liquidy. It's really, really wet, and it makes a ton of the little splatters up both above my eyelashes and below. And whenever I use it, I have to be, like, super, super careful with it or else I have to, like, wipe it all off, and usually it messes up the eyeshadow. So I love the way it looks when it's on and it's dry, but I cannot stand putting it on. In fact... I don't use it very often just because it's such a pain in the butt to put on. And then the second part of the question was, what was the hardest item to get? And that's going to be my um, Benefit bronzer in Hoola. At the Sephora that I go to, it's one of the ones that are inside of a JCPenney's. And when I got it, they had just opened. And I went to the grand opening and they had not gotten it in stock yet. So I waited a couple weeks and went back and they said that they got it in the week before but then it had already sold out. So finally I kind of got irritated and I just ended up ordering it online. But I absolutely love this and it has lasted me a really long time. I don't use a ton of it and I don't use it every day. So I am almost afraid for it to run out because it was really, really difficult to get a hold of. The third seven deadly sin is gluttony. Which product do you have way too many of? So that's going to be on my lip glosses. Usually I don't keep them in this. Well, usually I don't keep them in this little um, basket. I just wanted to be able to pull them out and show you easily. This entire thing is either lipsticks, lip glosses. There's some samples in here. I have some chapsticks. And this is not even all of them. I have two makeup bags that I keep in my purse, because I switch a lot, and they all have lip products in them as well. I have way too many. I cannot resist buying them. I absolutely love lip gloss. I I don't think I've ever really tried one that I didn't like. Maybe color, but like as far as like brand goes, I've never 
found one that I didn't like. I am kind of obsessed. Um, the next deadly sin is sloth. Which item have you neglected due to laziness? Unfortunately, that is my hair extensions. I feel so bad. I neglect these things all the time. I never, it's not that I never wear them, but I don't wear them often. I don't take the time. Usually if I've done my hair, I don't take the time to put them in. They're just the clip-in ones. And I had actually just colored them too. So they're all nice and beautiful and long. I have the 20 inches and it's not that it takes a long time to put them in. I just, I don't take the time to do it. I, uh, I should, but I don't. And as expensive as they were, I neglect them all the time just simply because I'm too lazy to take the time to put them in. And I even went out and bought the $30 case for them because I don't wear them all the time. And they were getting knotted and they were in a drawer and they were getting knotted. So I went out and bought the little holder for them. I neglect them even though I really love them. And the next deadly sin was pride and it was which product gives you the most confidence. I'd say it's just my foundation or kind of routine. It's not one product in general. Um, you know, if I have foundation on, I'd be happy with just that. I can do that in some chapstick. I don't ever really leave the house without any kind of like foundation on. It just makes me feel more awake, more open to the day. Um, just kind of gives me an all over kind of like happy, you know, good feeling about myself and I don't leave without it. Um, the next one is number six, lust. Which item can you never live without? So again, a hair product. Um, I cannot live without my straightener. I straighten my hair just about every day. I did not straighten it today because I was just going to be sitting around the house filming and I just kind of put it up in a headband wet but I have the Nano Silver straightener from Conair and this bad boy I got at Walmart for $15 on clearance. It's lasted me like four years and I had to clean the plates a couple times. They were pretty dirty um, just from product buildup straight you know but the, it has lasted me and it works perfectly fine, and I absolutely can never go without it. And the last deadly sin was envy, and that one was, which item would you like to receive as a gift? The one item that I would like to receive right now as a gift was the Philosophy Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. I had, well, every time I go to Sephora, I've been getting samples of it. Because I'm in love with it. It's just, it's really expensive. It's like $50 and the jar is like, you know, like this size. I mean, it's super, super tiny. And um, it's just really expensive. And as much as I like it, I just can't do it right now. So it would be the one item I would like to receive as a gift right now. Um, because I love it and it's amazing. It's just, it's really expensive. And yeah, those were my seven deadly sins of beauty. I thought this tag was absolutely amazing. I saw it about two years ago on Kendall Ray's channel. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, if and when I ever decide to do YouTube, I'm going to do that as soon as possible because it was the cutest thing ever. It was so creative and I just completely fell in love with it. So yeah, I hope you all give that challenge a try. See what your seven deadly sins of beauty are. I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching. Bye.